Hi, I'm Joe McCanta, the Grey Goose UK Brand Ambassador. Today I'll be showing you some of our cocktail collection from this year's Grey Goose Winter Ball to benefit the Elton John AIDS Foundation. For the past five years, Grey Goose has had the pleasure to work with or create cocktails for some of the top names in fashion, art, design, and gastronomy, such as Giles Deacon, Patrick Cox, Elizabeth Hurley, and last year's Jean-Paul Gaultier. Each year we put on a social fundraising event for which all of the proceeds benefits the Elton John AIDS Foundation. This year we're very excited to be working with the top restaurant in the world, El Bouli. We're also working with revered shoe designer Christian Louboutin, top British fashion designer Jonathan Saunders, as well as the acclaimed artist Mark Quinn. The cocktails we are creating are an exploration of the architecture of taste, and each one captures the spirit and the personality of the character they were created for. I'm going to show you El Bouli's molecular take on a classic vodka martini. This uses El Bouli's trademark of combining both precision with theater to give an overall gastronomic taste experience for the guests. Now I'm going to be using some liquid nitrogen, so I would not recommend trying this at home. What we're going to do first is we're going to start off with some fresh vanilla. So what you can do is just cut a slit into the vanilla pod so that you get a little bit of the oil and the scent of it right around the rim of the glass. Once we've done that, we have another El Bouli trademark, which is a spherification technique. What we've done is we've taken some green olive puree and we've made it into a sphere using algin and a bit of calcium. So this should explode into the mouth when the guest eats it. Once we've done that, we'll make a signature Grey Goose vodka martini. Starting off with some Nolly Pratt dry vermouth and a bit of good quality ice. And what we're going to do is we're going to rinse that ice with a little bit of the Nolly Pratt. Give it a tiny bit of a stir. We'll just strain out that vermouth. So you get just the right amount. Now, the most important ingredient, which is Grey Goose vodka. We'll use 75 mils of Grey Goose. And again, give it a bit of a stir. And that gives some dilution. You got the vanilla, you have a little bit of the olive in there. Now we're going to give it a final chill with the liquid nitrogen. And as you pour it in, the liquid nitrogen works its way over the top of the drink, getting the glass nice and cold as well. And finally, we're just going to slide our pick neatly underneath the olive. And there you have a unique twist on a classic. Now let's take a look at Christian Louboutin's cocktail, the red carpet. Now this was created to reflect the iconic use of the red sole on the bottom of his shoes. But it's also representative of his taste. We'll start off with some lovely French raspberries. Next, we're going to put in a splash of a very interesting ingredient, which is a Himalayan goji liqueur. About 15 mils of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Now Christian personally asked for ginger in his cocktail because it's one of his favorite ingredients. So I'm going to put just a slight teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. We'll add in now some cherry juice, which is made from French Montmercy cherries. We're going to muddle that all up. Next, we're going to add one of the most important ingredients, the Grey Goose Le Citron. We're using a 35 mil measure of Grey Goose Le Citron. Some crushed ice. And all of our ingredients are mixed. I'm not going to shake, because we're going to let all of that crushed ice do the diluting for us. But we'll strain that cocktail right over the center of the drink, giving us this amazing, vibrant color that matches those beautiful red soles. Now, We've created a great little garnish, which is just a, a signature kind of maraschino cherry with that lovely red. And we've pierced it with an embroidery needle and some thread. This represents the architecture of a shoe. And last but not least, to give a, a tiny bit of aromatic quality to the drink, some fresh ground five pepper blend. And there you have an iconic cocktail for an iconic man. Next, we're going to make L'Oeil de la Poire, which means the eye of the pear. And this is a cocktail that was inspired by Mark Quinn's 
magnificent paintings of irises. We wanted to base this cocktail around the autumnal flavors moving into winter. We'll start off with Grey Goose Le Poire, 35 mils. Next, Camerling's Ginseng Spirit, which is an interesting liqueur made from 45 different botanicals. Some pink grapefruit liqueur. This will give a touch of citrus acidity, um, but also add a nice aroma to the cocktail as well. And now, five mils of kumul, which is a caraway seed liqueur. You just need a teaspoon or five mils of that. We'll finish that off with some coriander bitters to bring a bit of spicy aromatics to the cocktail. We're gonna fill our mixing glass with a bit of ice and give it a nice stir. So now for the magic, and also to represent a bit of architecture, the architecture of taste and the architecture of a cocktail, we've used a lovely ice orb which we've placed into the glass. And our glass is sitting on top of one of Mark Quinn's images that we've reproduced. As we strain the cocktail over the ice orb, guests will then be able to take a sip of the beautiful autumnal cocktail and actually see this image magnified through the ice orb. Last but not least, we're just gonna get some grapefruit and we're gonna zest it over the top of the drink, which gives a nice citrusy note, kind of top note to lift the drink up with. And there you have the Marquin Lule de la Poire. It's a beautiful drink, a striking image, and will be a fantastic addition to the collection of cocktails for the Grey Goose Winter Ball. Now let's take a look at Jonathan Saunders' cocktail, The Blueprint. Taking its cue from Jonathan's groundbreaking use of bold colors and interesting prints, this cocktail is designed to be both playful yet also sophisticated. So we're going to start off with some fresh lemon juice, about 20 mils, and a bit of gum syrup. And then we're going to add in the lovely Grey Goose L'Orange, 35 mils of Grey Goose L'Orange. We've actually used one of Jonathan's prints to do a bespoke design around this glass. And we're going to add a flash of color with some bittered saffron sugar right on the rim of the glass. Filling the glass then with a bit of crushed ice. Now we're going to fill up our shaker with some cubed ice. Give it a good shake. And using a strainer, Strain the cocktail right down the middle of the glass. And now for a splash of color. Using a bit of a nod towards Jonathan's Scottish heritage, we have a lovely bramble liqueur from Scotland, which we've mixed with some blue curacao. Drizzle that right over the drink. You see a nice shot of bold color work its way through the cocktail. Garnish with a stir, add a straw. And there you have the drink that's both iconic, playful, and still sophisticated.